Hello everybody, welcome to a sheepish look at Spider Rise of the Shrouded Moon. My name is Gunna, you can miss Wooden Sheep, and today we're taking a look at a unique platformer, puzzler, strategy, spider simulator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll show you all these really unique features later on. Uh, right now I just want to show you the core gameplay. We're going to play this level because I already know what I'm getting into a bit. Because I've completed already. You play this cute little spider. Some people might argue it's not very cute, but uh, they're silly people. So, I'm playing on the PC, but you can use an Xbox controller if you want. I'm not sure if other controllers work as well. Uh, and it controls fine, but I just prefer PC controls because I feel it's more accurate. Alright, so, with the left mouse button you can see I can aim around like this and jump around. You can control your strength by moving the mouse uh, away and closer. Uh, but yeah, you've got a pretty far jump distance. And if you hold the right mouse button, you will see I shoot a string of web at the same time. So, I'm just going to do this. When you connect three strings together, uh, you will create a web. This time it didn't work because uh, I jumped a bit too far, like see the web breaks. Oh, I guess that time it didn't. Amazing. Um, but I'm just gonna connect it like that. Bam! And then it forms a thingy and you can catch bugs. Uh, yeah. So, different bugs react differently though. Those guys uh, seem to avoid web, but he got unlucky because I created the web around him. Uh, those small ants, you just need to jump into them and you'll eat them. These See these butterflies kind of just, or moths, just sit around and you kind of scare them around. Come on, go! The, the, the butterflies tend to be a bit stupid, like they fly into my already existing web a lot. Alright, so you can create, uh, three is the minimum to create a web, but you can create stronger ones by uh, making more lines and that'll capture, you need that for stronger bugs. Come on, get in there! Uh. Um, but this game is really damn good for score attack enthusiasts, people who like to get on uh, improving their high scores and replaying levels to get on the leaderboards. Because uh, there's a lot of multipliers, you can see I just ate a bug there, and there's a 10 second countdown now to eat the next bug. So that's one countdown, but there's also another one where you have to eat as many bugs without touching the ground. So in that, can in that case you try stack up as many bugs as possible on one piece of web and then eat them before jumping on the ground. But that's a bit more risky because then you might, there's a chance you'll like run out of web here. But anyway, so I think I've cleared out this room, I can just come to this arrow here and go to the next room. Ooh. Uh, so you can see these hornets or wasps, um, you can tackle them and that's how you eat them. <laughs> oh man, I just got two in one. Nice, achievement unlocked. Yeah, see, see? I'm uh, good at playing as a spider, but yeah, the game is very satisfying when you start really kicking ass. I mean, <laughs> you're basically just eating, but you know, it's kicking ass, right? Alright, I'm done with this room. Cleared. Nice, nice. Alright, we've got one more room over there. It seems this arrow down here indicates that I can actually complete the level right now if I want to. Uh, but I'm not done, oh no. Alright, so, you also get parts like this in the game, which is top-down. It's a bit less fun, but I guess it's a nice refresher. So, all you can do is basically just walk around and you can jump. It just... Oh my god, this ant is really fast. What the f... Get the hell over here, man! Whoa! I can go under a table. It, it's a bit like my main gripe, honestly, with the whole game so far. Like, I love the entire thing, but there's some tables you can go under and some you can't. And it's not very clear. I don't know if I'm missing something, but... Doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna eat these slow ants here. Come on! Mm. Yeah. But yeah, you can see my multiplier is going up and higher, and I guess the faster you eat, and the higher your score will be. Oh! Oh man, these fast ones are really tricky. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on. Oh, oh you can also uh, hold the Z button, or Z, however you like to say, and you can look around freely like this. So I guess I can track where the fast ant is. Ugh. Oh man, that was useful actually. I think I saw one more. Oh, it's a slower one though. Okay, nice. Are there any more? I think I might have eaten all the bugs. Oh shit, there's one more. Oh man, two more. I think one of them is slower as well. <laughs> he ran into me. Amazing, nice, nice. Level clear. Alright, so we're gonna move on and run into this glowing sparkly thing. And it's pretty cool because it actually shows you the entire level you just completed. Um, actually, this is one of the worst examples. Oh, there you go. Because I wanted to show you that it actually uh, leaves all of your webs everywhere and I guess that's how ancient mansions get all infested with spider webs. Pretty cool stuff. Nice, I got all the bugs. Most delicious snake fly, 2000 score, nice. But yeah, you can play this really strategically, for example, because I told you you get a score multiplier the more you leave on the web and then eat them at the same time. But if you want an even higher score, then you leave the more valuable bugs for the end so that your score multiplier is like five times and then you eat the higher one to get even more points. There's all sorts of stuff like that. Alright, so, um, the game has 
you can consider like I mean I think it's 30 levels but each one is playable in different ways so you can see um, you can play each level and you can play it in let me show you here so this one I just completed I've completed it on daytime and rainy there's also daytime not rainy nighttime and nighttime rainy so uh, you can change that by coming here which is pretty cool you can uh, see I have time machine active because right now it's nighttime for me and the game but basically the game has a really cool feature where it detects your IP you can turn this off by the way if you want if you're worried about privacy or something but um all it does is check your IP because it's you can see here it said Nicosia which is the city I'm in and it detected that uh, it was raining right now it, not long ago but right now it's not but anyway so it depends on the time that you are at right now and all that and it changes the bugs in the level so I guess bugs that come out during rain and whatever um, but it's cool that you have the option to turn it off and change the team the the team the time of day and uh, the weather in case you want to complete different level types but yeah uh, that's mainly it let's see here you can also have a bug collection so whenever you eat a new type of bug it shows you here but um I mean there's also and it's pretty cool that you can read about them and how many you ate it's pretty cool house fly I think we all know those um, but yeah it's pretty cool because you have to collect them all in a different way like this guy was in a secret room which uh, I guess those exist there's some other ones like these grasshoppers you have to try scare them and they jump uh, and you can try lure them into a web these guys you can push them around uh, but another pretty interesting thing about this game is there's you're in some sort of mysterious mansion and some sort of uh, Mysterious story has happened and you're trying to I mean <laughs> you're a spider So you don't really care, but you can pick up clues along the way like these are the two clues I found so far uh, And so you can solve a small mysterious case in that sense spider types I haven't actually I guess you can unlock more spiders, which is pretty cool. Okay achievements high scores Yeah, all right, so I think we can just do one more level and uh, maybe you can see more types of enemies. Bam! Now playing courtyard. Oh yeah. Oh nice, it's a butterfly. So it's daytime and rainy right now, I think. I probably should have changed the time to show you, but oh well. Alright, come here. <sighs> okay, it's a bit tricky. Uh, I didn't really choose the best place to make web. Oh, actually another main gripe I have about the game. I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but you can't seem to cancel your web. I don't know if that's a... Uh, something they did on purpose or not, but uh, it kind of cost me some silk sometimes. I want to cancel my shot and I can't. I've looked through the controls, I don't know. Maybe there's a way, but I haven't found it, and if it's easy to implement, I'd suggest it, unless you were going for that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> damn butterfly, it's trying to taunt me now. Ugh, where is it? It probably, oh, okay, okay, come here. Let's, let's just play this strategically and nicely like a spider. But yeah, you really do feel like a predator, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh, there's a grasshopper there as well. Mmm, that's a bit too far. Okay, no, I got it, I got it. Ah, crap, I don't know how I'm gonna get this one, though. I don't think I can connect this, but let's try. Ugh, well, it's something. I think I could probably scare the grasshopper into this. Let's try. Come on, dude. Yeah! <laughs> hey. I haven't really showed you good combos right now in this video, but I promise you I was doing them. Oh, there you go. That guy's stuck. Nice. Alright, let's crawl through. Also, the music's pretty cool. I mean, it's not really what I would expect from a game like this. <laughs> I don't know what I would expect from a game like this but I don't know because you're in a mansion and you're a spider and I don't know but it, it's really cool it's kind of chill and uh, I don't know it, it sets the mood in a, in a cool way right, let's just try all right wait I'm gonna time it because these guys avoid web from what I've seen <gasps> yeah can't escape me now buddy yeah oh and his friend came in so uh yeah you can see I got two times there that was because I ate two bugs before touching and then you can see web multiplayer reset multiplier because um, I touched the ground all right let's just climb around these <laughs> it's really cool though I like the way you climb around walls and stuff I can't eat these guys like this all right let's try this is a bit stretching it no no I can reach it I'm a cool spider I got the skills yeah all right let's see okay so I'm gonna eat these smaller guys first to maximize my multiplier there you go portal open just means I've eaten enough to uh, to exit the level but I want to complete this I ain't done. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> I didn't complete all- I didn't eat all the bugs though, is there something here? Whoa! Whoa! That's never happened to me before. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I was really hoping there would be a secret there. Alright, oh well. You can't find all of them. But yeah, the, the other secret that I found was pretty cool. I mean, it was just a small storage room, but it, it feels cool that you can find secrets like that. So how do I get in there like this? Yeah! Woo! 
<laughs> wow, I didn't do too well. I missed eight. There, mu there must be some other room that I missed. All right, well, thank you for watching, everybody. If you like the look of the game, please check out the link in the description to buy it on Steam. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and sharing. It'll help me out to show me your support. But until next time, goodbye! I love you!